Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be conducting a wee bit of an experiment. So it's been quite a while since I last opened my battle chips. Well, actually it hasn't. I did open like a million of them, I think on Cyber Weekend just to get the missing units. But I had about 4.7 million left. And in today's opening, we're going to opening 4.5 million of them and we're gonna split them equally into 1.5 million increments and i want to see how many units we're gonna end up getting out of this now the theory behind these is always well has always been quite clear the odds for units don't really change in the math that doesn't change the base principle of these is very simple the more advanced the arena crystals you open, the bigger your gamble is. It's kind of like imagine if you're tossing a coin, whether you're betting 10 pounds on a single coin toss or you're betting a single pound on a coin toss. So if you bet 10 pounds on a coin toss, you're going to either walk away with 10 pounds or nothing. But if you bet one pound on a single coin toss, you're probably going to you know, get four to six, somewhere in average score over there. So in theory, 750 arena crystal basics one should give us a very good kind of like an average statistically hopefully and then we're gonna be able to gauge whether we got lucky with other ones so either way this might take a while so let's go and obviously this is to do with the banquet event coming along i do not plan on spending any significant amounts on it if anything at all but at the same time you know i do have the bile chips if i do have the units then it probably is about as good of time to spend them as I can. A quick side note, I think the community accepted standard average is approximately 2,000 units from 1 million battle chips. So if I end up with 9,000 units, I'm going to be quite happy. Anything above, you know, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Anything above I will be. Anything below is, you know, okay. Anything above is obviously great. So let's go with it. Hopefully we can end up with about, what is it, 3,000 units here total? Now we do have this, this is going to take a bit because there are 750 of these and so far, I don't think we have been too lucky. We have 400, 420, come on, let's go 525, let's keep going. 540, 645, that's nice, nothing in this one. We do have some energy refills that we will have the opportunity to spend very shortly. 750, again, I think at this point, we are definitely slightly under the average. We should have been at 250 crystals opened, we ideally would have been at about 1000. So when we open 500 crystals, ideally we would be at 2000 let's see if we can catch up here i don't think it is going to happen i think we're probably knowing my luck gonna end up scoring slightly below the average there but uh who knows the luck might turn out a bit different so we got 1470 units here still 1470 <laughs> it's not growing too highly so at this point we are def we are 350 units behind already or two, 290. We are about 300 some units behind. Again, if we end up with 3000, that's perfect. If you end up anything below 3000, it's not too great. But we'll see. We'll see. It's probably going to be well below 3000. Looking at the pace right now, it's going to be 2000 something probably. So it is going to be under. So we got 2000 now. And there's going to be very little hope for us to make it to 3000 mark in the next 90 crystals. Unless we get exceptionally lucky. So we get 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6. So we finished up 2.690. Oh, I missed it. I think it was 2.690. It, it looks like about 2.6. So I'm going to write in 2,600 here. I think it was 2,590. Does that make sense? 2,590? I'm going to write 2,600. I think that should be okay. So now we need to go to the 
the second level. The second level could be slightly more interesting. This is going to be 150 uncollected arena crystals. So, let's try these out. And then I can open rest of my battle chips in whichever one of these is, will have given me the most units, I suppose. So here we go. 300. 900. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This already looks juicy. This is the same average. If we hit 3k units, we are balling. We get 3k units. Uh, we are very happy. If we hit anything under 3k units, we're not overly happy. And this time around, it looks like we hopefully can make that. But definitely, we were on the pace up until the last couple of pops. 2650, 2700, 2775. So it definitely did slow down quite significantly later on. 2775. Uh -huh. <sighs> Unfortunately, it definitely did slow down a wee bit then. So let's go back to crystals. <laughs> oh, and these final ones, these final ones are quite extreme. We can get very, very lucky or we can get very, very unlucky here. This is where it is the biggest gamble to go with these. Again, so I, I believe a single pop here can give you 1000 units. So out of 30 of these crystals, if I get three of those pops, we are already above the average. So let's open the first ones. Oof. 1500 units that's it we got half of our unit goal here already oh that's good that's good that's good that's good come on another one pretty please yes 2250 so if we do hit another one of those 1000 units or what what is it 750 i don't even know but come on let's get the 3k pretty please so 3750 there we go so in this case definitely without a doubt significantly better chance we all significantly better odds was with with the big big crystals here so we got 3750 that's putting us at about 12k units which i am not sure whether it will be enough uh but you know that is what we have so Let's go for like the couple of the bonus rounds. So I do think we can get five of these and then we can spin them out uh, because obviously we did get the most units out of these. So in the remaining five, if we get any bonus units, I will be well happy. If we don't, we don't. You know, obviously it wasn't meant to be, but it is clear winner that in this case, when opening larger quantities, um, again, it is the biggest gamble. As you can see here, you basically waste 50,000 of your vial chips and you just got gold. I mean, gold is a bit of a shortage these days. But if you get one unit break here, we are quite happy with that. Not to mention that I do not have a six star punisher, but I doubt that I will acquire six star punisher pretty much ever. <laughs> 180k gold there is all that's not the biggest deal so we just need one unit drop to be one unit drop pretty please come on then come on and we did also obviously get you know gold and i don't even know how much gold did we end up getting but uh there are no more units coming through which is Slightly annoying. Well, 360k gold though. That, that has to be something. That is something. I wonder what my gold stash is at. Because I think I was at like 113 million, which was like very low for my account. I have lost over 80 million gold in last six months of this game. That definitely shows a bit of a problem problem with the gold economy, I would say. Come on, units, pretty please. There we go, units. Six star punisher would have been better, but units, come on, what? Ah, three seven five. Three seven five is still something. It's still something, Santa Bad. Come on, one more units. Please, one more units. Three seven five units though, you know, it's something. 
Come on then. Let's go. Units? Is that units? No. You. Okay. Well, at least we did get the 375 units there. So, how much gold do we have now? So, this last pop was like a million gold there as well. Or thereabouts. We got up to 124 million. So, I think we got about. What? 10? 11 million gold? Something like that. Well, either way. Now, my unit stash is looking a bit more respectable and uh, we did end up getting over 9000 units in total for all of this which was the goal so i would say that this entire opening was just a tiny bit above the average and that's kind of cool because you always worry about getting shafted with these crystals and here we are again take the results for what you will obviously again it is the most safe uh, thing to typically open the lower arena crystals you will most likely get the results closest to the average in this case in particular i did end up getting quite lucky with the largest thronebreaker arena crystals and uh, here we are now i will be able to get some of those extremely fancy banquet crystals again or whatever else i will figure out to do with the units in there went to get the milestone rewards either way hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, well, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the good buttons, and I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information.